As mentioned in the general comments section, there are three methods to protect the three exposed phase ends of the lower breakout. Unless otherwise specified in the installation instructions, the exposed phase ends should always be protected. Method 1. Using the protective sleeve. The protective sleeve will be installed on delivery. One end of the protective sleeve should always remain sealed. When fitting to each of the three phase ends, a tape wrap should secure and seal the sleeve to the 3 8 inch tubing. To ensure a good seal, there should be no creases in the tape wrap. Method 2. A tape wrap extending from the gold contact pin over the PFA insulation and onto the 3 8 inch metal tubing. Make sure there are no creases in the tape wrap to ensure a good seal against moisture ingress. Method 3. When passing the three exposed phase ends through the 3 8 inch compression fittings, a thin tape wrap over the PFA insulation and gold contact pin should be used. Again, ensure the tape wrap is not creased. When instructed to remove the phase end protection, you should always check for moisture ingress and contamination on the PFA insulation and gold contact pin. As per the installation instructions, the three 3 8 inch metal tubes of the lower breakout should be marked 132 millimeters from the end of the gold contact pin. When installing the lower breakout into the packer or can hanger, there must be a minimum distance of 100 millimeters between the end of the 3 8 inch metal tubing and the top face of the packer or can hanger. Immediately prior to inserting the gold pins of the lower breakout into the connector units, thoroughly clean the gold contact pin and PFA insulation with clean solvent degreaser and a lint free cloth, as instructed in the general comments section. Ensure all moisture has evaporated prior to insertion into the connector units. In order to avoid contamination, it is critical that the blanking plug on the end of the connector unit remains in place until the connector unit is mated with the lower breakout. When mating with the connector unit, ensure that the mark made on the 3 8 inch tubing sits flush with the end of the connector unit nut. When swaging the ferrules onto the connector unit or 3 8 inch compression fittings, the no-go gauge should be used to check the engagement. If the ferrules have been fully swaged, the gauge will not fit in the gap.